Picture a seed, small and unassuming. Now imagine it transforming into a lush, leafy plant. That's the magic of growth. It's a process that's both simple and complex, playing out quietly in nature every day. This transformation, this growth is not merely confined to plants. It's an analogy for what happens when we engage with the soil, when we garden. Gardening mirrors this magic, offering transformative benefits for our health, minds, and environment. Gardening is not just about plants, it's about you, your health, and your well-being. Picture this, you're out in your garden, tilling the soil, planting seeds, and watching life sprout from the earth. As you work, your muscles flex and stretch, your heart rate quickens, and a light sheen of sweat forms on your brow. Gardening is not just a calming hobby, it's a form of physical exercise that engages various muscle groups, from your hands to your legs. According to experts, moderate intensity activities such as gardening can boost cardiovascular health and increase lifespan. A study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine found that low-level physical activities like gardening can reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke by up to 30% in individuals over the age of 60. But the benefits extend beyond heart health. Gardening can also contribute to a healthy diet. When you grow your own fruits and vegetables, you're more likely to eat them. Fresh homegrown produce is not only delicious but it's also packed with essential nutrients that are often lacking in store-bought alternatives. Now, let's talk about sunlight. Spending time outdoors exposes us to the sun, our primary source of vitamin D. This vital nutrient plays a crucial role in maintaining healthy bones and teeth, and it can boost our immune system. Just remember to always protect your skin with sunscreen or protective clothing. Take it from Clara, a 75-year-old gardening enthusiast, who shares, I started gardening when I retired. It keeps me active, and I've noticed I feel stronger and more energetic. Plus, there's nothing like the taste of a tomato you've grown yourself. So when you think about it, gardening is a holistic health package. It's a means of exercise that strengthens your body. It's a source of fresh, nutrient-rich food. It's an opportunity to soak up some essential vitamin D. So, gardening is not just a hobby. It's a workout, a health booster, and a vitamin D provider, all rolled into one. Gardening can be a sanctuary for your mind, a place for tranquility and peace. The act of gardening, of being immersed in nature, has a profound impact on our mental health. It's not just about the physical activity or the fresh air, though those are certainly beneficial. It's about the connection we form with the natural world, the sense of accomplishment we feel when we see our plants grow, and the peace that comes from caring for something outside of ourselves. We've all felt those moments of stress, anxiety or simply being overwhelmed by the demands of daily life. In these moments the garden becomes an escape, a refuge. The simple acts of digging in the soil, planting seeds or watering plants can ground us, help us to focus on the here and now, and provide a much-needed break from our worries. This is mindfulness in action, a form of meditation that can help to reduce stress and improve our mood. But don't just take my word for it. Mental health professionals and researchers have found that gardening can have significant benefits for mental health. Studies have shown that people who garden regularly have lower levels of stress and depression. They've discovered that the act of gardening can stimulate the production of serotonin and dopamine, the happy chemicals in our brain, leading to improved mood and a sense of well-being. It's not just about the science, though. Personal stories of people finding solace and joy in their gardens abound. There's the story of the woman who found healing in her garden after a personal tragedy, or the man who discovered a newfound sense of purpose and satisfaction through his community garden. These stories remind us that gardening is not just a hobby or a chore, but a source of emotional and mental nourishment. In the garden we are all gardeners, tending not just to our plants but also to our minds. In the garden we can find clarity amidst the chaos, solace amidst the stress. In the garden we can find a space of calm, a place to reconnect with ourselves and a source of joy and satisfaction. Gardening is a small step towards a greener planet and every step counts. Indeed, the environmental benefits of gardening are not to be understated. When we plant, we do more than just beautifying our surroundings, we are active participants in the preservation of our environment. One of the significant ways gardening helps is by reducing our carbon footprint. Just like us, plants need to breathe, but unlike us, they inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. An average-sized tree can absorb as much as 48 pounds of carbon dioxide per year. That's equivalent to the carbon emissions of driving 150 miles in a car. So when we garden, we're essentially creating our own little air purifiers. 
Gardening also promotes biodiversity. By planting a variety of plants we provide habitats for various species, from tiny insects to birds and small mammals. This biodiversity is crucial for the health of our ecosystems. For example, pollinators such as bees and butterflies play a vital role in our food production. Without them, we would see a significant decrease in the fruits and vegetables we rely on. By creating a garden that attracts these pollinators, we're helping to ensure the survival of these essential creatures and by extension, our own survival. Furthermore, gardening contributes to waste reduction. Composting, a common practice in gardening, is a fantastic way to recycle organic waste. Instead of throwing away those vegetable peels, coffee grounds, or fallen leaves, we can turn them into nutrient-rich compost for our plants. In doing so, we are not only reducing the amount of waste that ends up in landfills but also enriching our soil without the need for chemical fertilizers. In conclusion, the environmental impact of gardening extends far beyond our backyards. It's a ripple effect that can lead to significant changes on a global scale. And the best part is, anyone can contribute. It doesn't matter how big or small your garden is, every plant makes a difference. Your garden can be your personal contribution to a healthier planet. Gardening is for everyone, everywhere. That's the beauty of this enriching activity. It's not limited by space, age, or location. It's about creativity and adaptability. It's about turning constraints into opportunities. Let's take a look at balcony gardens, for instance. Just because you live in a high-rise apartment doesn't mean you can't enjoy the gratification of nurturing life. From flourishing flowers that add a burst of color to your concrete jungle, to edible herbs that can spice up your meals, balconies can be transformed into green havens. All it takes is some sun, a bit of water, and a whole lot of love. Indoor plants, too, are an excellent way of bringing nature into your home. Not only do they liven up your space but they also purify the air and create a calming environment. From the resilient snake plant that thrives in low light to the charming Swiss cheese plant that loves a sunny windowsill, there's a plant for every home and every plant parent. And then, we have community gardens. These shared spaces are not just about growing plants but about fostering connections. They bring together people from all walks of life, bridging generational and cultural gaps while promoting a sense of community. Whether it's a small plot in a city park or a sprawling field in a rural area, community gardens are proof that the joy of gardening is universal. Gardening is not about having a large backyard or a country estate. It's about the desire to connect with nature, to learn, and to grow. It's about taking a tiny seed and turning it into a flourishing plant. It's about the joy that comes from seeing your hard work bloom. So don't let space or location deter you. Remember, where there's a will, there's a garden waiting to bloom. No space is too small, no place is too urban, you can always find a way to garden. Gardening is more than just a pastime, it's a pathway to a healthier, happier you, and a greener planet. Let's take a moment to recap the incredible benefits we've discussed. Firstly, gardening is a fantastic way to keep your body moving. It's a fun, low-impact exercise that gets your heart rate up and your muscles working. Whether you're digging, weeding, or simply strolling around your garden, you're giving your body a wholesome workout. Beyond physical health, gardening is a sanctuary for the mind. It's a quiet place to unwind, reflect, and find peace. The simple act of nurturing a plant from seed to bloom can bring immense satisfaction and a profound sense of accomplishment. But the benefits of gardening don't stop at personal well-being. When you garden, you're also contributing to a healthier planet. Plants absorb carbon dioxide, thus reducing greenhouse gases. They provide habitats for wildlife and help to cool urban areas. Gardening is a small yet significant step towards a sustainable lifestyle. Finally, let's not forget that gardening is for everyone. Whether you have a sprawling backyard, a tiny balcony, or even just a sunny windowsill, there's a garden waiting to bloom. Community gardens are also a wonderful way to get involved and share in the joy of growing. So why not start today, plant a seed, nurture it, and watch the magic of growth unfold in your life.